I flipping hate Halloween. Well, actually, to be more truthful, I love the dressing up. Um, I love the playful fun side. I love all the, you know, excitement around, you know, kids and, and dress ups and all those kinds of things. That's great fun. And I even love some lovely sweet things around Halloween. But here's the problem I have. One problem, it's sugar. Okay, and that sugar is actually killing us. Now, I don't know about you, but I grew up with sugar as a culture around Halloween and like filling up pillow sacks of Halloween and having that candy, you know, over the, the week or two after Halloween and picking out the really good stuff and then slowly going to the hardcore sugar. <laughs> um, and my parents didn't know how bad sugar was for me and that they were actually setting me up for a lifelong sugar addiction, right? They had no idea that that stuff in that sack was actually contributing to dramatic mood swings, you know, hormonal issues, um, memory fog, not being able to sleep well, all kinds of symptoms around ADHD. And they just wanted me to be happy. They wanted to be the fun parents. I mean, no one wants to be the bad parent, right? No one wants to be a bad parent. And so with Halloween, how do you actually find the balance of bringing in the fun, you know, bringing in the, the playful things that actually happen around it, bringing in some sweetness without the downside and the bad effects that are actually making our kids sick, okay? So I've gone into my cauldron of creativity <laughs> and come up with a recipe that I think will actually be the antidote to a lot of those things. So it's got the lovely sweetness in it. It's got the chocolatiness. It's super nourishing, right? So there's tons of nutrients in there. So they're not gonna have these sugar crashes and mood swings and brain fog and all that kind of thing. And it's a fun thing that you can actually get the kids involved in making. So, and that's one of the things that kids love even more than just having a you know, pillowcase of the sugar is getting quality time and connecting and creating something that is going to nourish, energize and protect them and still be in the full spirit uh, of the fun parts of Halloween. So here are our bloody monster fingers. These are a fantastic treat to get the kids into the kitchen making something nutritious, delicious, nutrient dense and super fun for Halloween. We start the recipe by adding in our pumpkin seeds and then we put in cashews that are raw. Again, all of these nuts are raw. And then some almonds and some hemp seeds. So this is our nut base, nut and seed base, which provides a really nutrient dense base um, for our monster fingers. We add in some cacao and about three tablespoons. And what we want is also a little bit of vanilla bean powder, which you can get in health food stores. That gives us the vanilla flavor without the alcohol or sugar and a bit of fiber. So what we're doing is we're just blending all of this up in the food processor until you get this meal-like texture. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in the dates minus the pits, okay? The pits are the pits. You don't want that in your food processor. And what the dates are doing is they're providing that sweetness, but they're also providing the glue that holds your mixture together. The, the monster fingers will come together by adding the dates. And just add in the right amount that brings it together so it is forms this dough that will come together in a ball. So when you squeeze it together, it holds together. But you don't want too much that it's too sticky, right? So you can see Andy's forming it here so it will actually hold its shape. And then what you do is you take the mixture and you take kind of log shapes, just squeeze them in your hand like Andy's doing here. And um, it actually forms the basis for the monster finger. So it looks like a little log, kind of when you put it down on the ground, looks like a bit of a turd. Kids love making jokes around this, so yeah. So what you're doing is you're shaping it into a finger shape. And this is great because it's such an easy shape to create. Kids do it. So taper it so you have thickness on one end and then it tapers into a thinner area which you just create this little indentation which is where we're going to put the fingernail in. So to create the fingernail we're using raw almonds again that have been soaked and you just slip the skins off, right? You can use a whole almond but we tend to use a half almond. So just as you slip the skin off and then you can just pop your finger in and split it in half and then take that half and put it in the indentation. So the drier the almond is, uh, it will actually adhere to the stickiness of the date. And then what you do is once that's actually in there and it's all secure and held in, um, you can put little indentations with a knife that 
form the little creases in your fingers. Okay, so three or four will do, and then you have what is shaped as a monster finger. So now we're gonna make our bloody sauce, okay? The bloody gooey gut sauce. And that's just by taking mixed berries and popping them in a saucepan with a little bit of water and then just mushing it until you've got like this bloody gut kind of concoction that you can then take your monster fingers to actually dip in. So now you're getting this lovely natural sweetness with a monster finger that's super fun. You can play with the mixture. You can um, play in setting it up like Andy's done here with the bloody sauce, some candles, a little bit of cotton wool around it for effect. So here we have it. These are our monster fingers with the blood bath to dip them in. So this is a sweet treat that won't turn your little angels into monsters. They are nutritious, they're delicious, they're fun, they get the kids into the spirit of Halloween, and they get to create something that's actually going to nourish them. So for more delicious recipes like this that won't spike your blood sugar, are super easy to prepare and absolutely delicious, Click the link below to find out more about our 21-day sugar-free challenge.